Welcome to Zoogle.trade. How do I create my first robot? You can see from this dashboard that we've got two existing robots on this demonstration account. However, we're going to pretend to, that we're going to create our first robot. In order to do that, you click this green button here with the add sign on. And from the drop down box, you can choose the exchange that you want to use. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use the GDAX exchange. Now we've already created a video which shows you how to find your API key, your secret key and your passphrase, so we're not going to cover that in this particular video. However, once you follow the instructions on that video, you'll be able to complete these sections. And once you've done that, you can then click on the login to exchange. Once that's done, you should then have a box that pops up that looks similar to this. The first thing you need to do is you need to name your bot. So for this video, I've just called this one demo bot. You then need to select the currency pairing that you're going to trade. And you can do that from the drop down box and this will vary depending on the exchange that you're using. So for this example, we've got the GDAX account and I have a choice of trading Bitcash with Euros, Bitcoin with Euros, Bitcoin with Sterling, Eurythium with Euros and Litecoin with Euros. So I'm going to choose Bitcoin with Sterling here. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, you may also have a choice of robot that you want to use. At the time that we're recording this one, we just have the Zookle Crypto Bot available. So we've only chosen that one from the drop down box. And then you will have two numbers appearing here. Available for trading will be the amount of money that is in your, in our example, GDAX account. Um, as we're using a demonstration GDAX account, you can see here that uh, unfortunately it's, it's just a zero. Um, however, you can select the trading amount that you want to put in. So I've just chosen a nominal amount of £300 here. The next section is to choose the number of lots. Now, these are the number of positions that the robot can buy for you. Um, and it's really important to understand that you can choose as many as you want or as few as you want. You can, of course, just have one. So one lot. So it will spend all £300 in buying one position for me. However, that could be a risky strategy to adopt. And in my experience, I would suggest that you start with 10, which means that it will split this amount of money here, the, your trading amount, into 10 equal lots of £30. Next box is the minimum amount that you want to earn. Now it's important to understand what the ROI or the return on investment that you're targeting and I've created a separate video for that. So for our purposes we're going to select 60 pence and that will provide us with an ROI of around about 2% per lot. So that'll be the target as a minimum that we want the robot to aim for for each position that it opens for us. You then have the ROI percentage. Now this is the amount of money that you want this robot to make for you before the robot pauses. Now you can set it to infinity. However, my advice to you is not to do that, is to set it to a much lower figure. Let's say between 15 and 30% simply because it's important that you have the robot pause for breath and it may sound a little bit unusual but the ro if you allow something to run and run and run and run there is a risk that a bug could appear so it's important to set this at a level that will allow the robot to pause and then you can then just simply come back into the into the dashboard and reset it to say another 15 percent or another 30 percent and so on but of course it's entirely up to you and you can choose however or whatever level you want to set the, the total ROI. And bearing in mind that that ROI is based upon this figure here. It's not based upon these figures here. Uh, finally, you'll then have uh, these two boxes here, which will be ticked automatically by default. Uh, we're going to untick these and I've created separate videos which explain both of these features for this robot. Once you're happy that everything's in place, you can then click the blue start trading button. And there you can see our demo bot and it is now all trading.